Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you uh, outside rear view mirror replacement on this 2006 Malibu, uh, same as any 04 to 08 Malibu and Malibu Max. Tools you'll need for the job are a flat blade screwdriver, T25 Torx driver, door panel clip tool or a putty knife, and a 10 millimeter wrench or a socket and ratchet. Okay, first you're going to remove a little panel right here. And then in behind are two T25 Torx screws. We'll just speed it up as we remove those two screws. Okay, next you'll want to uh, remove your plate around your door handle. Kind of pry it down and out here. Then up in this corner, you want to try and push your... I'm um, working my fingers in behind here and then pushing my door handle up, up here, and then up. So you can see it, there's a little tab here, 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 and here, and then you press on a little tab right here to disconnect your lock switch. Okay, then your power window switch, and carefully go right up underneath the front here, pull up on that. Push in there and try and, uh, and pry in the, the switch a little this way. Pull it up and to the front. Okay, and then there's on these switches, there's a tab in behind here. Release that. There's a tab here. Squeeze and release. And then on your mirror, the tab right there. Usually easier just push it with a screwdriver. Pull it off. Okay, on the back of the door there's a little fastener. There's actually two of them. I'm missing one on this car. But you just push the center right in through. And then you can pry them out. Okay, now around the perimeter there's a series of pins. Door panel clip tool is the right tool. You could also use like a household putty knife, but you basically put it in and pry out on the panel. And you just kind of work your way around. Pop the pins free. Uh, that that just fell out is a little clip that goes actually on your power window switch. Push it back in like that. Okay, now you're going to come up here to this triangle of the speaker, pry out at the top, okay, and pull it up and out. Okay, now your door panel should come up. Okay, you still have to reach down in now and disconnect uh, your trunk lock. That's so a pry out and disconnect it. Here's your door panel off. Okay, you're going to want to disconnect your lead. Just pry out on a little tab with your fingernail or a screwdriver. Pull it up and out. 
Okay, now your mirror is held in with three 10 millimeter nuts here. Remove those. And we'll speed it up here as we just remove those three nuts. And your mirror comes right out. Okay, new mirror from One Auto. See it's all the same, has the same plug. Um, comes in black, so obviously you could replace it and it would be a functional replacement. If you wanted to paint this to match your uh, body color, you can do that in a number of ways depending on how close you want it to match. Um, silver spray paint will match okay. If you want a better match, um, find an automotive parts store that has a good paint department. They can usually match up the color of your vehicle, uh, put some paint in an air charge spray can and then you can paint it that way and obviously to reinstall it put your uh, lead through okay. and then you use your original nuts okay and I'll fast forward here as I put all the three nuts on there and then tighten them up with my wrench. Um, you should tighten them probably about oh, probably about 25 to 30 inch pounds, which is about 8 to 10 foot pounds. Okay. Plug that in. Probably want to kind of rub this in close. So now we'll just plug it in. Uh, turn the key on and test, make sure it goes all four different ways and everything looks good so we can put the door panel back on reinstall the door panel pretty easy make sure you plug in your trunk and button and lift this panel up kind of out of the way make sure all your connectors come up from here up into place. Lift it up over and make sure the lock button goes through here. There it is. Okay. Lift it up, push it on on the shelf there. And make sure the pins go in. This little thing, the little pins in the back, you want to push them back through so they're popped out. And then push them in and then flush the lock. Okay, now your two screws here. Again, speed it up here as we put in those two T25 Torx screws. This you just have to kind of look down in and make sure your wire is kind of towards the back. Push it down in and on. This little goes there. Make sure that you plug your power lock. Back in. Okay. Push that back on. And then plug here. Here. And your power window harnesses. Make sure you put this back in, you slide the back down in first, and clip the sides and top on. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. 
please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.